What's going on guys? In 2018, Samsung launched the Galaxy S9, a phone that was promised to change our smartphone experience. Back in the day, the Galaxy S9 was the talk of the town. It was praised for its turning design and powerful performance. Now, the difference between the Galaxy S9 and the Galaxy S8 was very subtle, but yet significant. The S9 featured a more refined build, maintaining that gorgeous edge-to-edge -edge display built with a slightly smaller bezel. The fingerprint sensor was often criticized for its awkward placement, but this design was adopted by Huawei and other brands too. I personally did not like the positioning of the fingerprint and then also the thickness of the device comparing it to the Galaxy S8. But the real game changer was the camera. Samsung introduced the world's first dual aperture camera allowing the Galaxy S9 to adapt and give you images as you see with your eyes. The camera could switch um, to f1.5 for low light and f2.4 for well-lit environment. This was groundbreaking because night shots were much clearer and dynamic photos were vibrant and very sharp. Now, in terms of performance, the Galaxy S9 was powered by the Snapdragon 845 or the Exynos 9810 chipset, depending on the region that you are. This chipset delivers smooth performance, handles multitasking, and some graphic intensive games pretty well. Even today, the performance on the Galaxy S9 is still as good as gold. I must say that the audio on the Galaxy S9 was a very good one. That was the first time Samsung introduced stereo speakers tuned by AKG. And yes, the device had the beloved um, headphone jack, which has now become rare in modern devices. In terms of software, the Galaxy S9 was launched with Android 8.0 Oreo and received updates to Android 10. It's sad to see that the device no longer received updates. This is something I really get disappointed with Samsung, but the community's custom ROMs somewhat makes the phone relevant. The device features a 5.8 inch Quad HD Plus Super AMOLED display. Samsung is always known for its vibrant and sharp screens and the S9 was no exception. When watching video, browsing the web, this phone will not disappoint at all. The colors are vibrant, vivid and comes with very deep blacks. The display also came with very very curved edges which most people would rather choose a flat edge than to go for a curved edge but for me i really like the curved edges on the galaxy s10 and the s20 because they are not too curved like what we have on the galaxy s9 and s8 now in 2024 i think the galaxy s9 is worth the hype because this device is will still serve you well unless you are looking for something really fancy but if not this device is a must go thanks for watching see you in the next one